Hotjar tutorial, how to use Hotjar as a beginner. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Hotjar and how you can use it as a beginner. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So Hotjar is a visualization app that can help you visualize your UI, your UX elements, basically visualize how customers are interacting with your website in a, you know, heat map sort of way. So let's go ahead and get started with it now it is free but there is a pricing plan which we will get into later but for now we're going to go ahead and sign up onto hotjar so to sign up onto hotjar just simply click on the sign in button or click on get started you know or click on create a content square so it depends on you so click on the get started button and it's going to go ahead and load up the registration options right here the insights and we should be good to go and to sign up, you can, you know, easily sign up with either your full name, your email address, or password, or you can just simply sign in and, you know, create your account with your Google ID. So I'm going to continue with Google, accept their terms and services. And after that, it's going to ask you to, you know, go ahead and fill out some of these fields. So for example, what is your organization name? You know, how many employees work at your organization? So stuff like that. So I'll just say one and some company dot inc and then just simply click on next and what is your role so here you can go ahead and add whatever your role is so i'll just say mine is a digital marketer if you have others you can go ahead and do that uh, i don't want hard to, to send me personal tips so i'm gonna click that and click on next and after that what would you like to do first right so here you have your main objective identify potential initiatives prioritize initiatives explore solutions execute solutions or others all right or select i don't know yet and then where do you want to gather your insights so over here enter a valid url or ip address all right you can do this later but it's recommended to do it first so let's go ahead and add let's find any website that we like right so i'm going to add this website so my shopify store hopefully it'll work even though it's not a real domain it's a fake domain it's a well not a fake domain it's a free domain and over here discover how users really feel about your websites right low score right over here this is basically how people are gonna come over here and see your store right extremely likely highly likely how likely are you to recommend us to a friend whatever i'm gonna skip this and get direct user feedback customize your questions right here middle right whatever you want you can go ahead and you know add these type of experience questions onto your website so that whenever people come over here again if you want you can skip it or create a feedback button it totally depends on you you can modify and change it later so i'm just simply going to go ahead and create this one and you know not the other one and after that you now have a free trial it's now working and over here you can see you have the install tag option right here onto your website so you can go ahead and get started with the tag installation so copy this code paste the code into the head section of your website and to make sure everything is ready just simply click on verify all right if you want you can install with the developer's help or install on a platform so since we're already using shopify we're going to select shopify and we're going to copy this tag and i think that this is a liquid tag because html does not work on shopify unfortunately all right so this is the installation guide and we're going to go ahead and open it up it's open up we're here and here they're basically telling us how to do this right so go to the site copy we already got that go to themes go to edit code theme dot liquid there we go so this is a dot liquid option which means that we can actually go ahead and install it so let's go ahead and do that actually so we'll go back to admin so we're going to open up our shopify store right the admin bar and and not admin just our dashboard and then go into only store go to themes and then we're going to go ahead and click on customize and then here we have to find sorry not customize we need to go into the oh, code editor here we go edit code and then go into theme.liquid which is right here and we need to paste our code against the header section i believe so let's enter and then paste a link or paste the code and i believe that should do it click on save and now we can go ahead and verify it it does say the closing tag and right here you can find the closing tag right here actually we should find it's the again closing tag but there is no closing tag over here or maybe this is the closing tag right here i'm not sure because if we come over here let me actually search for it this is one this is the other one and then i believe this is the closing tag right here so it says just before the closing tag so which means that 
over here we should paste the code instead of up there this for me it's line number 310 actually well actually it's 300 and i'm not sure for you guys but that was the closing head option not the starting so let's go ahead and see whether or not it's done so let's go back and let's go ahead and click on verify installation click on that oh, i just opened up my site i don't know why let me try again okay so i've been trying to install this tracker for quite some time i don't understand why it keeps giving me the exact same error code even though i've done everything i've done everything i've copied the code i've pasted it exactly where the instruction says right before the header yet it doesn't do anything i even added it in the header itself like here and even over here as well like if i go into the added code section i basically pasted it everywhere so i before the header after the header scroll down where was the other one and header right before and after i basically did everything but still it just keeps giving me the exact same error i don't understand why this is for another thing but that's not how it is but let me go ahead and try it again one more time maybe this time it'll work like it opens up the website to verify it takes like 60 minutes but it should say that you know what it's verified it reported but yeah so we'll just skip this for now i don't understand why it's not working but it should work i believe it should work if we select any other option it should also work with it you know pretty cool but yeah we'll skip that for now now once we've done that over here on the left hand side you will have your dashboard if you install the tag it will show you everything so i'm just simply going to click on try the demo one for you so that you know you guys understand how it would look like once it's finished so once it's done once it's finished this is how your data is going to look like you're going to have all of your sessions average session duration bonus rate you're going to have your clicks your rage clicks your average time on page how much time people spend on your page you can see the feed the blog the about section home page next all these different section right all these different pages will have your different sections and you can see how much sessions each page is using and down below you can see all the traffics pretty much get everything right so you can see right here how many channels views you've got home page signups you know all the conversion funnel rates it's actually pretty cool how detailed it is so yeah i highly recommend you check it out and over here of course there's the dashboard then we've got blog performance we have each different sections for each different pages to view them and we can see how they are doing on an individual level right so this is pretty much it for the dashboard here you can of course see everything the features the mobile applications the monitor all basically all the analytics of your website so let's move on to the next section on the left hand side you can see all you have your trends right you can see all the trends how much session you got you can see right here we peaked over here with 20 section around november 10th right here we go november 12th was our highest day and we can see it kind of falls off and then picks back up but you can see the trends over here if you click on funnel you can create funnels as well you know if you don't know what that is uh, basically if you have a landing page you can create a funnel page where people can go ahead and funnel and funnel them through and to your landing page so where they, they can buy whatever product it is that you're selling you have your recordings over here uh, you can see if you play each recordings you click on it you can find them right here so looks pretty good by uh, right here and then you have your heat maps and this is what i was telling you about in the earlier uh, heat maps uh, basically it will show you all the places where people usually click right so you can see right here one click is over here two clicks over here uh, scroll down we can see we got another click over here another click over there another one over here so we can see heat maps right here on each individual pages which i think is pretty cool and then finally we've got the surveys and feedback option we didn't create the survey in the beginning we did however create a feedback page but you can go ahead and do that as well and over here you can see all of the results of each of these different feedback buttons right so over here you can see we've got 16 responses on this one accessibility audit this has 77 and if you click on view responses you can view the entire responses average score is 3.2 not great but you know it is what it is but yeah pretty cool but yeah this is how it looks like right and then you've got your test section over here where you can go ahead and create a new project basically ask real users what they think about your live website or prototypes right pretty cool stuff but yeah i highly recommend you check it out but yeah it's pretty simple this is how you do it this is how you hot jar and the video over here you can see uh, i forgot 
this is the pricing plan. So you can see right here, there are four pricing plans, the basic, the plus, the business, and the scale. Basic is free forever. Of course, track up to three to five daily sessions. You've got unlimited heat maps, recording for users, HubSpot integrations, basic filters, dashboards, and highlights. And then you got the plus one. You get all of the basic ones, right? All the features from the basics, but you get page view filter, session inspiration, and event API to track customer user actions. You also get to track up to 100 daily sessions instead of 35 in the previous one. And the business is going to cost you 99 per month, starts with 500 daily sessions, and you get all these different cool stuffs right here. So you can go ahead and check it out and let me know in the comment sections what you guys think about Hotjar. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And that is it for this video, guys. That is how you use Hotjar. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.